I am pumped. I was gone most of this week in Washington, D.C. with fellow rice farmers, marketers, and millers, speaking with congressmen and senators, advocating for California and USA rice. And while I was gone, Pops was busy here in the rice fields, driving the bank out through the muddy fields, creating ruts to help that remaining winter water drain off. And today we're gonna do a bit of shovel work to help open those ruts, just to connect passageways and flowways, just to get that water off the field. Also, finally organized my mail after getting back from Brazil, and I have a belated Christmas present from, you're not gonna guess it, Kellogg's. You know, Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. Let's head over to the shop and we'll open this up. Christmas and a happy new year. Of course, you guys know I'm the world's largest Rice Krispie Treat farmer. This gift isn't a surprise. I was actually contacted by the marketing firm that runs advertisements for Kellogg's, specifically Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. They found, probably through the help of you guys, through sharing my world's largest Rice Krispie Treats farmer. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link to it. A lot of people saw that, especially on Facebook and Kellogg's saw it too. And a gratitude for making it, they sent me this, this package. Happy holidays, Matthew's stickers, Rice Krispie Treat poppers, Rice Farmers Rock, all these special notes, more poppers, more poppers. Oh, so sweet. T-shirts, snap, crackle, and pop. Thanks, Kellogg's. These are gonna get me through the shoveling today, I know it. Okay, let's grab the four-wheeler. I just have this great energy coming back from DC. I mean, I've never done that before. I was certainly out of my comfort zone. I did not vlog there at all. I mean, I actually thought of it. I was doing a little bit of vlogging when I first arrived into the hotel, but as soon as the meeting started, the prep meetings as to getting our talking points straight and our strategies in order, and how we're going to address the rice industry to congressmen and senators that aren't necessarily from rice growing regions, I got overwhelmed, I got nervous, I got anxious, and not to talk in front of people, but just to make sure that all the points that needed to get across, got across. And I thought it was more important to be focused on what I was there for and not focused on vlogging and doing videos. Even though walking around all the congressional buildings, the Capitol building, seeing the White House, going to Trump Tower for the State of the Union, uh, all that was so awesome and I could have gotten great video. I'll be back next year and I'll definitely, definitely be more focused on taking video, hopefully because I'll be a little bit more comfortable. It was just awesome. <laughs> Now, just because I didn't vlog, there were a couple awesome photo opportunities. Here's me and the team with Congressman Josh Harder. See, I'm right there. He represents California's 10th district, which covers the northern San Joaquin Valley. And though again, not a rice growing region of the state, he's a new congressman and we just wanted to introduce ourselves as an industry. Also, newly appointed Congressman TJ Cox we met with. That's me right there. And he represents California's 21st district, which predominantly covers the San Joaquin Valley. What an experience to sit next to these guys 
and explain the passion that we have for California rice, what we need in regards to trade, and what we're doing here for the wildlife. It's just, uh, it was extremely positive meetings. So I was wearing a suit all the time, and I kind of liked it, you know? I kind of really liked it. But I also like wearing these hip boots. I think the biggest thing was just seeing how the government works, how our officials are accessible through industry. And I'm just so proud of the USA Rice Federation and the California Rice Commission. And though it was my first year, everyone who has been doing this for, you know, three to 10 to 15 years, they all really took me under their wing and made me feel comfortable, encouraged me to speak in the meetings and were just absolutely positive. So. I want to give a big thanks to everyone in the rice industry because I made a lot of great friends, I made better friends, and it's just going to keep getting more fun and more interesting and more productive from here. I just, I mean, I'm pumped, but I'm also getting a little bit winded. I think it's a combination of the shoveling and talking, but um, on to the next box. Also, there's a great picture of some team members and I standing in front of the Capitol building. You see me right there? Pretty sweet, huh? Wearing suits. Now getting dirty. Vicki Boyd, the editor of Rice Farming Magazine, saw on Twitter that photo of us standing in front of the Capitol building and tweeted out, Matthew, you sure clean up nice. And I said, Vicky, I'll be wearing hip boots tomorrow. One awesome thing is that while we were gone in DC, it pretty much rained all the time here. So with the amount of rainfall we've had thus far this year with the snowpack and with the water levels in the reservoirs, it's looking like this year is going to be a good year for water in the state of California. And with next week's forecast showing nothing but rain, only that much more positive. What we're doing now is just essentially creating this infrastructure of a draining system within the fields so that when it does rain, the water just kind of washes away. Again, we pretty much hope for an April 1st start time, meaning that we want this ground pretty dried out so we can get in here with our tractors. So right now, it's not that we hope to dry the fields out, we just want to get this infrastructure in here and it's sure a lot better shoveling mud when it's not raining than when it is. So, just doing a little bit of work. Hey, how about some first person POV action of some shovel work? That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> So you see guys, we've made it now to the bottom of the field. I worked all the way from up there and hit every single box coming down and we've reached now the drain riser. And this is the reason why I wear hip boots, long boots. Some people have asked, why not just wear shorter rubber boots that would be more comfortable. But here, as you can see, the water gets a whole lot deeper because it's reaching the draining canal of our entire farm, which is super deep. You see, here's where the pipe comes out from under the road and then fills up this ditch with water. You can see a little bit of the current because all our fields out here are draining into this one main ditch. And this ditch, by the way, is what's going to be taking the water off our farm into the irrigation district's canal system, eventually out into the rivers. 
eventually out into San Francisco Bay, as I mentioned in the last episode. So, because all this water is getting backed up over here, we got some pretty deep water here, and I still need to clean out those ruts and connect these drains here. Which is going to be interesting because it's so deep. But on the bright side, it is the last bit of digging for today. So just bear with me, guys. Let's get it done. Forgot my shovel. Very steep grade, right? As the water reaches the drain riser here. Whoa! Ah, so close to getting flooded over. Guys, that's it for this field. That's it for today. That's it for this week in terms of work. We did some politicking. We did some shoveling. We got cleaned up. We got dirty. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank my friends in the USA, California rice industry. You know who you are. Thank you for the time we spent together in Washington, D.C. over the last few days. It was something really special to me. I also want to say thanks Kellogg's for recognizing my world's largest Rice Krispie Treat farmer video. That's really cool. Glad you guys found that. And for those of you who haven't seen it, the link is down in the description. That's the world's largest Rice Krispie Treat farmer signing off. Next year I'll have more footage for you from Washington, D.C. Thanks again for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, take care.